everyone. Welcome to this week's episode where I'm going to be diving into one of my favorite topics of conversation these days, which is the art of asking for more money. And I'm going to share the process that has worked for me and with the intention that listening to this makes you at least double your income this year and empowers you to make more money than you have ever made in your entire life because that is my true desire for you. So I'm going to share, you know, my journey with asking for more money that essentially led me to double my income three years in a row from 25K to 50K to six figures one year after another by implementing exactly what I'm going to share with you today. And This isn't about negotiation. This isn't about how to get a promotion. I've never had a job within a company for more than three months. I have always been a freelancer. Um, But this is applicable. This is applicable for you, however you make money. Because really, this is a process that I have used over and over and over again. And that I use over and over with clients to just get what we want from life, which begins with trusting our desires. So First, well, first of all, I'll preface this conversation with my belief that the wage gap, which I should have looked up a stat on this before, but it like hasn't increased in like 200, well, obviously 200 years, but I can't remember what the stats are because I'm generally not very good with things like numbers and stats. Um, but it's not like it's not changing. Progress is not being made. There are still a big wage gap around, you know, gender and race and anyone who's not white and male. And I really do believe the reason for this is that those of us who receive less are not asking for what we want as much as we could be. So um, this process really begins for me, really began for me with trusting my desires And so if you have a desire right now to receive more money, and even if that's a complicated conversation for you, um, you know, put it this way, are there things that you desire to experience in life that cost money that you would like to have money for? Um, And, you know, let's just acknowledge that money is something that facilitates the things that we desire, that we get to have it, we get to create more of. And, um, And our desires are meant for us, right? So trusting my desire for more money was the thing that led me to make this transformation and grow different tools and learn to create more money. And it really all started for me with just having a goal. And I talk about this all the time in this is the reason why mindset mindset work makes all the difference. Giving yourself permission to have a bigger goal and then really trusting your intuition to find your own way there because everybody's path of least resistance is going to look different from one another. And, you know, it it is going to require you to change, to make transformation, to see things differently, to shift your perspective and to embody different tools and skills in the process. So I'm going to share exactly what that looked like for me, but no, this isn't about you have to do exactly what I did or make money in the way that I was making it or, um, you know, learn the exact tools and skills that I learned. Because however it is that you decide you want to create income streams into your life for more money, you know, you get to choose which avenue you go. You get to choose which is the path of least resistance for you around your skill sets and your passions and what's fun for you. Then I'm also going to talk about what it looks like in real life to actually ask for more money and really why a lot of why it's hard, you know, why a lot of us resist that and what that was like for me. So it all started out with me, my journey and money mindset work and just putting post-it notes on my laptop for my next level income goal. And I still have post-it notes now because so many of those have come true that why wouldn't I? Um, <laughs> and I would just raise my income goal over and over and over again. And I would incrementally increase it. And then I would hit it. And, you know, I, and I've done that so many times with all of my income goals that it gave me faith in the process and really proved to me that this works. This is a viable way of me creating more money. And 
you know, I would just follow my intuition in consistently focusing on that goal, giving myself permission to have my desire and to move towards it. And then noticing as ideas that were in alignment with opening me up to receive more money in ways that felt good to me, taking action on them, integrating new tools and skills and opportunities, and then making it happen. So this is a very simple and basic structure of asking for and receiving what we want. And, you know, it starts with us asking and listening to ourselves first, actually listening to what we want. And, um, and then, you know, giving ourselves permission to ask for that externally. So, you know, then eventually after blowing up my, my hourly income rate from like $5 gigs to $20, $30, $60, $100, $200, $300 and plus an hour, um, I completely left the money for time model. And I was led to creating courses, creating digital information products, creating scalable group programs. And that really led to me developing skills that allowed me to um, share my work in a very value focused way. So I was no longer selling an hour of my time for a certain amount of money. And that was a really key shift for me that obviously allowed me to hit six figures in my business and to not be working more and to actually be working less than I was working when I was freelancing and trading time for money and writing copy for digital um, marketing projects for other entrepreneurs. So, you know, in learning how to position myself and learning how to communicate what I did and learning how to um, obviously market that and package my offers and services in a value focused way, um, that really gave me the ability to scale my income without um, requiring extra work booked on my calendar through creating courses, which that was never an explicit goal for me. So this is the power of just having a goal and consistently focusing on it. I knew I wanted to have more fun. I knew I wanted to have more freedom. I knew I wanted to earn more money and I knew what I was unavailable for. And I knew I wanted to do it with people that I was excited to work with that in a way that felt in alignment for me, that felt authentic to me, that felt like it was centered around my values. I knew all of those things. Well, those things started becoming clearer and clearer to me as I just kept moving towards the goal. So, you know, and then obviously as I came across other ideas and inspiration, I, I recognized when it aligned with an avenue that could move me towards that goal. And I did it. So this is what it looks like when you are actually asking for more money sometimes. And it's no longer like this for me, but in the beginning, it definitely was. And I remember sending out, I think it was like my first $3,000 invoice. And it was the, the most money I've ever, I had ever asked for in one go. My hands were shaking. <laughs> my like anxiety was through the roof. Like my whole nervous system was panicking and leading me to believe that this was a terrible idea that, that, you know, I was projecting all of these thoughts onto the, the client, like they're going to judge me. They're going to say all these mean things about me. They're going to um, reprimand me. They're going to start nitpicking. They're going to, I don't know, have, um, you have so many negative things to say about the fact that I'm asking them for this much money. Of course, they just paid the invoice and I received the money that I asked for. And, you know, this happened to me over and over and over and over again, which really, you know, led me to see, first of all, I thought it was magic. Like, it's not magic when we ask for more money and we receive more money. All it goes to show is how much we undervalue our time and our services um, and the value that we bring. The fact that I you know, I used this process so many times and didn't even get a no until, you know, I really started putting my prices up there. So it's not magic when you ask for more money and you receive it. Like, let's be clear that most women are undervaluing ourselves um, and are also undervalued. And there's so much more room to be paid more. And you know, just notice any mind chatter that comes up for you around that conversation. And okay, so this is really what's happening, right? When we ask for more money, it's triggering those internalized patriarchal narratives that we're not worthy, that we're not good enough. And how dare we ask for more? Who are we to ask for more? 
right? So our nervous system kicks in into reactive mode. It sends all kinds of warning signs. It is not safe to proceed. This is what, this is what we feel. This is going against the conditioning and all of the messaging that we've internalized from the patriarchy. So it does feel highly uncomfortable. You may start sweating. You may feel anxious. You may go bright red. You may have your hands shaking. Um, it can feel very unsafe to our nervous systems because let's face it, it's safe to allow other people to have the president. It's safe to stay small and allow others to continue benefiting from our smallness. This has been the status quo, which asking for more is breaking. So until we are willing to move through that nervous system reaction and really prove to ourselves that it is safe to ask for more, it's safe to receive more, it's absolutely not a threat to our danger, uh, a threat to our safety, and it absolutely does not put us in danger. Um, not only that, but it really highly, not only benefits us, but it benefits so many other people when we get paid more too, right? So, you know, that is on us to go through that. And, you know, you can experience things like fear of all money and opportunities everywhere drying up and leaving you alone to starve to death. <laughs> These old tribal fears, right? That if we upset people, that if we don't comply to the status quo, then we will be cast aside. We will be rejected. Nobody will ever say yes to us ever again. We will starve. We will be homeless and we will suffer a painful and grisly death. I'm yet to find somebody who this has happened to um, from asking for more. Most of the time when people ask for more, they simply get what they ask for. So all the love for that version of our lizard brain, who's just trying to protect us, you know, even if we go in and, and there's just so much doubt that we can receive more, you go in, you ask anyway, you get an immediate yes. And so then next time, or, you know, or the, on the same instance, you can ask for more again, or maybe the next time you build up a little bit more courage and you ask for more again, wherever it is that you're receiving your income and you get a yes again. And then you start to realize how much you were lowballing yourself. And you know, finally, eventually you may start to get some no's. But then what happens is you start to attract people who value you even more deeply than anyone you have ever worked with. The nitpickers and the people who question your value, they start to fall away. You repel them by your appropriate pricing. And you enter a reality of working only with absolute dream clients who love to pay you and deeply appreciate your work. So, you know, maybe you have tons of incredible clients who pay you low fees or tons of opportunities that you love to do and you love working for them, but you, you acknowledge that the money that you receive isn't as much as you would like to be receiving. Don't worry. I have had that same fear too. I thought that if I was going to work for people who could pay me more, I would just be working for the snobs. I would be working for the rich bitches. I would be working for people who were going to abuse me and take advantage of me or think that they own me. And all of that is complete and utter bullshit that is really just based on evil, rich characters from movies. <laughs> Actually, I have found the complete opposite to be true, that the more money I charge, the more people deeply value my work, the more people show up for and appreciate and integrate and implement my work. And, you know, that's not completely true. I've had people who have paid me the lowest prices I've ever charged. have been an absolute dream, super appreciative, fully showed up and created incredible results which just goes to show that a number is just a number. And we really do get to pick the numbers that we desire to receive for our time and energy and the services that we offer. So, you know, obviously there are more nuances to this conversation in whichever income streams you are receiving money through. And, you know, definitely pivots will be required from you. If you keep going to the same places and asking for what you want and not receiving what you want, it kind of makes sense to start looking in different places, right? And, you know, this is when we get into the conversation of branding, positioning, messaging, where you're showing up, um, you know, building community with the people who really fit with your vision of where you're currently at in your, um, you know, in your entrepreneurial ventures, the people who match with the vision that you want to be living right now and the prices that you want to be charging right now, that exists, right? Like unlimited possibilities exist. And even if you've never experienced them, even if you've never even heard of them, I promise you this strategy of setting a clear goal, 
connecting to it, committing to it, and opening up to those intuitive nudges to start to see things differently and to start to do things differently if all you do is exactly the same as you were doing before, but you put your prices up. Um, It's going to cultivate the tools, the awareness, the skills to be able to receive the money that you desire. So whatever it is that you want, ask for it. Be willing to get a no, right? Be willing to get a no and integrate the lesson. Um, Do not do not make it personal when you get no's and do not be afraid of no's and do not be afraid of other people's judgments of you asking for more money. What would you rather, right? Like ask for the money that you desire to receive to be fairly compensated um, for the, you know, for the, for the great work that you do. Um, Would you rather continuing to please the people that are very comfortable with you receiving less than you truly desire Or do you desire to repel them so that you can make space for those others to come in? Clients are exactly like relationships. It's like if you keep dating the toxic person that you are in relationship with and every time they come crawling back, you let them in, you are blocked. You are not available and open or even able to see all of the other incredible people out there who can make you so happy exact same thing with clients. Not that there's anything wrong with people who pay low prices. It's just different. Like we get to choose, right? We get to choose to earn less than we truly desire, or we get to choose to earn what we want. Um, It's really that simple. Like, what do you want? Lead with your desire, trust your desire, because actually people desire very different things. So if you do have a desire for more money and more freedom and you know, charging the prices that you really want to charge that would really make a difference for you in the way that you're living your life. Trust that there's so many benefits from you actually being able to realize that not only for you, but for the people that you work with, for your family, for your community. And so many good things happen when women women receive more money. So let's start asking for more. You know, I've seen clients go through this again and again and again, where they simply ask for more and they get it like tens of thousands of dollars more sometimes with contracts and, um, and gigs. And not only that, but asking for the types of gigs that you want with the people that you really want to be working with and get out of this mindset that in order to make more money, more money, I have to sacrifice. Like this is absolute total bullshit. The more you align with what it is that you desire, the more you align with what it is that's actually fun for you. So I would love to hear your thoughts on this. And if this is a conversation that you are really feeling called to go deeper on, I'm very excited to announce I'm opening the doors to Create Money the Fun Way for a special live round, which starts on Valentine's Day, February 14th. Um, If you want to love up on yourself and your money, this is going to be it for you. And this is really the exact money mindset process that got me from struggling, undercharging, under earning, overworking to 10 and 20K months in my absolute dream business, six figure years, having so much fun, so much alignment, only working with dream clients and having way more freedom than ever before because I allowed my desires to lead me in my strategic decision making in the income streams I was building. So this is not specific to business. If you are an artist entrepreneur or a wannabe entrepreneur or somebody who just simply wants to add some more um, really fun and creatively fulfilling income streams into your life or simply expand your capacity to earn and receive money in whichever ways that you're doing that, This is going to give you all of those tools to really open you up to that. I'm so excited for all the shifts and transformations we'll be um, working on together as we work through the 12 weekly modules. And I'm going to have some pre-work that's available from the 7th. And there are bonuses available immediately when you join to start that I actually have an EFT tapping video around reducing a lot of that nervous system resistance around raising your prices and a bunch of other... um, training bonus videos that are going to support you to really open up to and feel more confident in creating money in the ways that you really desire to create it. So I'm very excited to run this. Please go to withsaramac.com and go to the work with me page to check out the Create Money the Fun Way 
program. And I'm also really excited to announce I'm running a scholarship, a partial scholarship on the course fees for um, low income, LGBTQ and BIPOC peeps. So if you fit into any of those categories, or even if you're not sure if you fit into those categories, I encourage you to reach out and apply. I'm very excited to be bringing this work back to more people so that we can all just hurry up and earn more money already. Let's close that goddamn wage gap and um, get out of the scarcity. So thank you so much for watching and listening. I will see you next week. Bye. For more inspirational content, head over to my website withsarahmack.com and please support the show by liking, commenting, and subscribing.